Greetings, one and all. We're here back for a Strata box review. It's been a hot minute since the last one. Uh, it's been a while, actually. I can't remember. Um, bit of um, housekeeping before we get to the actual thing. Oh, I got some extra bars. Well, I got a few actually. Uh, I finally picked up a Studio Series Focus. Thank you. Uh, Wheelie. Uh, he's quite good. Got some junk in his trunk, but he's very good. I like him. And with him, I got hit. I got uh, <clears throat> Wheeljack from the Bumblebee movie. It was only a tenner from what was it? Japan or ID? I think it was ID. Yes, it was ID. ID. I got Wheelie from ID. He cost less than Wheelie because he was like a tenner. And I thought I got uh, Brawn, uh, so I thought oh, I might as well pick up a Wheeljack. He's all right. I like him. A bit weird. His back ends it looks a bit weird, and his head looks odd. If you ask me. Ooh, there you go. Focus. There you go. Um, yeah. And he's very tiny. I've noticed that about the looks so far of the um, Bumblebee lot. They're all really small. I mean, I know the Luxes were not exactly massive in the first place, but ugh, pretty old, smallest rock. Also picked up, uh, to go with my uh, drag strip, a uh, Wild Rider. Um, I love the head sculpt on this guy. There you go. That face. Oh, look, he's even got a shiny red eye somehow. Um, I love it. it. It's great. The only thing is, what the fuck, Hasbro? I thought we were past the backpack era. <sighs> I mean, I know you're going to get some kibble on car formers, but that's ridiculous. There's not much you can do with it because you've got the window bit that falls down. It doesn't go very far. Then this, this, this splits for fuck no what reason. Why? Is it supposed to flick on his back and go lower down? Is that how it's supposed to? I don't fucking know. Ah, oh, Hasbro. And I've seen the new, um, the, uh, well, well, the fucking, the fourth Stunticon. Not dead end, the other one. Um, I for life of me, I can't remember the, the white one's name, but it's basically a straight up repaint of this fucker. Lazy, Hasbro. Lazy. Today's straight out of the box review is for the Velocitron Speedway 500 Collection G2 Universe Road Rocket. Now, the reason I wanted this one for a while is because I have the original. Missing its clear, um, what do you call it? It's a buzzsaw kind of looking thing. You know, a, and you press the back at that, and then, and, and fucking hell, look, look, it still fucking works. I, didn't, I forgot that worked. Jeez. So uh, yeah, there, there's little road rocket. I can't remember if this is a female or a, a male. I don't know, but oh, I do. I, I love this figure. I've had it for yonks, um, and yeah, it's just it still holds up. I think the, the plastic's gone a bit funny on there, but and I've added Autobot logo to the front booby and one to the front hoodie thing that goes on the front of the bike when it's transformed. But yeah, absolutely love this figure. So, so when they showed off the new G2 Road Rocket, in using RC, Legacy RC's mold, I thought that really works. So here we are, we have one. Let's put him to one side, I'm not gonna throw him because, or her, because it's lovely. So, <clears throat> there she is, you'll notice she, in her box, unmolested. Well, I would say that because you can actually touch her inside the butt. It's probably been touched by hundreds of children. Now, today is Saturday. I went to Smith's yesterday. And I looked at several things. I was like, it's still twenty six ninety nine. I was like, I don't really, I can't really justify that price for something so small. Went to Smith's today in Gloucester, because I went from Cheltenham to Gloucester, uh, to kill some time for waiting for my missus because she's doing something. Um, uh, it would that went down £20. Last one there. I snatched it up. Had to be done. So, let's get this bad girl open, shall we? Time for the trusty knife. <laughs> Cut away. Uh, yeah, well, well. <laughs> One cut, all it takes. Let's just cut the side open, get the boxes open, pull it out, throw it away. Oh look, we have instruction manual. Let's hope I don't need that. And I did have the well, they put the weapon in a little baggie on the back. Whatever that's going to be, I don't know what it is. Hang on a minute. They're cardboard ties, not plastic ones again. That's weird because when I open Studio Series Wheeljack, 
he had plastic holding him in. Even a little wheelie had plastic holding him in. So why all of a sudden are they going back to these again? I'm not complaining, this makes it slightly, I don't need a pair of scissors or anything else to take it out. Right, let's get rid of all this gubbins on her. Why have they put it round the front? Is it prone to fall into pieces? Let me get there, we go that down to there, and oh, fucking wankers. How am I supposed to get that without, how is that? Damn you Hasbro, what the hell, that's just stupid. That's just silly. Stop that, silly. Cut. Ah, trusty knife, my trusty fruit knife. Even though it's not been used for fruit. Do it again, I think, just a little, just to get in there and just, Little, little nudge, little, little nudge without scratching the paint work. Does that work? Um, not really. Oh, bear with me people, it's all gone peak tong. There we go. That was... What was the point? It, it didn't actually serve a purpose. Fucking useless. Oh, there she is in her bike mode. That is nice. That is a cracking little bike mode. So I'm trying to get this to focus. I've got a dual display going on here because this is easier for me to work out what the fuck's going on. Uh, yeah, that's that's nice. I can see why they used this kind of mold for RC, or prime RC, because technically that's what you want, assuming a mud bake. Mud bake. <clears throat> You can kind of see where it all goes together and folds, but that is lovely. Petite, tiny, little red mud bake. Let's have a quick look at the um, the surprise inside without losing it all. I think it's those, yeah, it's those really weird disky things, which I don't know where they go. I must consult the back of the box. That's the front of the box. Oh, they just, it just clips on her. Okay, it just clips on the side. and Yeah, that, that's it. She's got a frying pan attached or a symbol, whatever you want to call it. Very good indeed. Let's just let's put it to one side, actually. I think it... Does it split? Oh, it splits. Ah, right. There you go. And then you put it, obviously, on, like, one, two. And there you have that. Yay, whatever the fuck that is. Now, I have not actually watched any reviews on this or the RC. I've never handled the RC, so hence I've never handled this fucker. And my impression is good. I like a good bike form. We don't get enough bike forms. I've got plenty of rec cars. Always good to have rec cars handy. Always bike. Apart from animated, it was a uh, garbage truck. So, yeah, let's just... Uh, let's transform this into a robot, which we probably easily put putting it the other way around because it's just basically unfolding her. Oh, that's what she said. There we go. Is that supposed to come off? Yes, that's supposed to come off. Poor start there. Because unless it's not, unless it's not supposed to come off, I don't bloody know. Okay, back wheel splits. She spreads her legs. There's the head. Oh, we can see the head and their arms are our ass. Okay, that's random. No, you can see that in bike mode anyway. Let's have a look. Let's get round. Does that rotate? That rotates. Crotch comes up. Can't even see, but there you go. Whoa, she's doing some really, really fancy poses here. Is that how that works? No, oh, you can do her... Uh, Range of the Fallen, Elite of One, and RC, because RC here, yeah, same mold, so yeah. Okay, that's, uh, what's that bloody dog doing? And that rotates, that goes down, that, that go down? That rotates, yes. Does that become a weapon? The wheel, front wheel comes off. Okay, so she's a parts former in some ways. Da -da 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 -da, parts formers. Transmorphers, robots that can hide. Basically what they are. Um, have I fuck have I done this wrong? I don't know. I need to just cut for one second so I can figure this out because I'm gonna be in depth down here looking like a right twat. Um, I've managed to work it out. I'm a clever boy, mate. I had the legs the wrong way round. I was assuming that 
this bit was the long bit and this bit was another bit so I had it the wrong way around. Um, does this go on here now does it? <clears throat> does this give a kind of a wing thing set up or something along those lines? Why won't you go in you utter, utter bastard? There he goes. Does it give her, does it give her wings? No. Oh, if, okay, it clips back and folds all the way back. Okay, not, not a lot of locking in going in around on this thing. It just, just seems to be a bit of a push it and hope it stays kind of motif on this thing. Okay, and these bits fold back to reveal the little hands. And there she is. Ah, oh, fucking head scope's cool. <laughs> Rotate head, thank you. Light piping. We like a bit of light piping. Piping of the light, so I take it that becomes a weapon of some disky thingy, or I'm just going to put it on the arm because it looks probably better on the arm. There you go, it looks better on the arm. And the front wheel becomes something else as well. Let me just split it open, and it becomes um um. It looks like she's got a serving tray. I do find some of these figures have some really lazy weapons. Hasbro are getting, oh, I don't say getting, they are fucking lazy anyway, Hasbro can be. Do 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 do. <clears throat> Paint schemes, the blue and the, the blue on that is absolutely. Come on, there you go. No, put it for that. There you go. There you go. The blue on that is absolutely stunning. I mean, camera's picking it up or not, but that is absolutely stunning. That metallic -y blue. It's really nice. Apart from the uh, the pizza holder she's got here and the, the weird star shield, I do like it. It's a nice little figure. It's one I haven't got. I haven't got them all. So I'm glad I've got one. If they do a repaint, <gasps> a black one of some kind description, Zepticon version <gasps> would be lovely. But let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that head sculpt. Let's have a look at I mean, that is Fucking awesome, that head sculpt. The metallic blue on the mouthpiece is awesome. The light piping is really good. If I can co cover up the light, you can see it. And da -da, focus. There you go. Focus, kind of. But yeah, absolutely lovely. I love that head sculpt. The tiny little oh, G2 Autobot logo. So in theory, when I stuck the Autobot logos on this one, they were the wrong logos. They should have been G2 ones, but I don't carry G2 logos, so. So a little comparison to the two there. Obviously one is a lot lighter than the other one by the um the red. And he is a lot older. she. I'm, I'm saying I think I'm thinking it's a she, so I'm gonna say she. She is a lot older than she is. And she still looks good. I love this little mini bot. I love it, and it transforms a nothing like each other. But you can see what the idea is, you can see why head sculpts, uh, there's both, well, she looks more menacing. Because he's got that, uh, 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 and that's more like um pair of sunglasses. Yeah, she's cool, she's cool, she's chilling. Absolutely stunning. <clears throat> I like it. That's actually quite cool. Uh, yeah, I do, I like it. Do you like it? Because I like it. Surprisingly, how that for that I was holding on how there 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 I was holding out for this one to go down in price because I thought it was a bit much money for what it was. So I'm glad I waited to drop the twenty pound, which is good. Um, some other ones the uh, Velocity one all dropped as well in Smiths. If you want to know, I might pick another one up. I don't know yet, but as it goes, I absolutely love this. This figure is absolutely classic. I think I might have got the, the waist kind of wrong because she doesn't want to stay. She keeps ab crunching backwards all the time. But as a straight out of the box review goes, she's stunning. I like it. I like it a lot. Apart from the pizza tray. Don't know why. Well, I just said pizza tray. My brain just went Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Strange how the brain works, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm surrounded by Transformers. Road Rocket, she is awesome. I love that head sculpt. It's the question, where do you put her? Do you put her with the Earthrise stuff or the Earthrise stuff? So, 
In conclusion, I'm talking absolute crap now. Absolutely lovely figure. I do like doing these reviews, to be fair, because it's a surprising look on my face when I realise it's a good figure, and you get to experience what I experienced through the camera, through the meaning of the YouTube. A bit kibbly on the back, but like I said, there's that's the kibbly thing they do. Not still as bad as this prat. You know, as nice as the track, the car, the car mode is lovely. It actually does look like the Ferrari is supposed to look like. And the head sculpts. And you've got light piping, or is his eyes just reflecting red from somewhere? Because he keeps... Whatever he's doing, he's doing a good job of it. Because that fake sculpt is, is, is something else. I do love that. I do believe he's actually wearing a helmet. Because he's... Because imagine that, that. That's a proper chin strap beard going on there. If it's not a helmet. Right. Right. I'm going to end this now. I've gone a bit long for my liking for one of these kind of shred of the box reviews. Because I hope you enjoyed. Um, I've been you. You've been me. And this was G2 Road Rocket from the Legacy 500 Cybertron Broom Broom line. And I bid you all adieu.